Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Today I'd just like to quickly uh, touch on uh, the ins and outs of uh, different types of solar controllers um, and their application with lithium batteries. So a lot of people, um, when you buy a solar blanket or a small solar panel, uh, like an all-in-one sort of type of scenario, they generally come with a PWM style of charger or a small MPPT. Now, the difference obviously between PWM and MPPT has been explained millions of times, but it's pulse width modulator. So effectively these won't charge at any higher rate than what the battery is. However, an MPPT is a, a max positioning power tracker. So it basically will um, look and search for the maximum efficiency and the maximum power and solar to be charging your battery at any one particular time um, and charge it applicably. So effectively you generally get a lot more charge rate out of an MPPT an MPPT style of charger than a PWM. But these certainly have their place, uh, the PWMs. Now, they're purely there generally to cover your loads and to top up your battery uh, and keep it going. Uh, it's not necessarily to take a battery from flat and make it charge all the way up, because they certainly won't do that or do it very well at all. Um, so therefore then they don't really have a lithium setting in them because it's the only difference between charging a lithium to an AGM battery is that higher rate of charge required to float a lithium battery. So an AGM style of battery will float at 13.2 volts, um, whereas an AGM is around 13.8 volts because uh, they generally, well they hold a higher voltage to start with uh, at their resting rate. Um, so because it's not really there to take a battery from zero up to like completely to 100%, yes, it will maintain it to 100% if there's not a lot of charge taken out of an AGM battery, but it's really there so like when you're plugging in your, uh, your solar panel throughout the day and you've got your fridge net running, it pretty much covers that load of your fridge so that it's not taking the power out of your battery. So therefore then, if you don't have a lithium setting on your PWM, doesn't mean you can't run it, use it with a lithium battery. If it does have like an AGM setting or a, a lead acid type of setting, stick it to AGM because that means it'll be charging at around 14.2 to 14.4, which is quite acceptable for lithium batteries and will still float it up in, in that higher 13 volt range, but it won't get it to 100%. But as I said, it's more about maintaining your battery. Um, having your lithium battery at 100% all the time isn't isn't 100% good for the lithium battery anyway. So don't be worried about taking it purely to 100% all the time. Um, work on a range between 80 and 20% and the batteries will last longer than you and I will be on this planet for. Um, so it's, it's not a critical thing to keep them at that 100%, but it will definitely still work. Now, when you go to an MPP, T style of charger. Now, these are Victron chargers, and I'm not saying all chargers are the same, but generally, so in the Victron range, these all have a lithium profile that you can set up in them. Now, this is a blue solar, so it doesn't have the smart, so you can't set it up unless you put a Bluetooth dongle. If you've already got one of these, um, you can buy the, the Victron Bluetooth dongle, put it in there, and then use your phone, go onto the Victron Connect app, and set the internals up in this to change your, your voltages, uh, your charge rates, your, your battery types, and everything like that. So fantastic features they have. However, if you buy the blue solar, uh, the smart solar version, rather than the blue solar, if you buy the smart solar version, the Bluetooth connectivity is already in the unit, and you can just connect your phone up to it and change it to a lithium setting. Uh, the same with the, uh, the larger you know, um, MPPTs, they have all those parameters in them as well. So the differences basically are, if you're switching to lithium, it would generally change the profile so that it charges at around 14.4 to 14.6. So, but you, if you've got a separate battery or a battery that has a separate range and its specifications, you can put those into these. So if it's charging 14.6 and float 13.8, you put that in there, you can put in the tail current so that that's how much it will, uh, when it drops down to say the last, um, say 4% of the range of the battery, it'll then lower the, um, the charge rate and just trickle charge for that last 4%, uh, so to speak, and then bulk for the rest of it. 
Um, and that's the same thing, you can set your bulk rates and charge rates and charge times, disconnect times and that sort of thing. So once it gets to a certain voltage, you can have it automatically connect or disconnect as well. And you can set all that up via your Bluetooth. So as I said before, if you have a PWM or even a smaller MPPT that doesn't have a lithium setting, if you can set it to AGM, uh, or it's preset to AGM, that's still fine. It is going to work. It's not going to damage your battery. It's not going to blow your battery up or do anything like that. It just means that it won't charge at 100% to 100% um, all the time. But as I said, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But if you do have uh, an MPPT, all round, they are generally a better charger because they'll, you'll get more um, charge out of them in low light conditions and, and things like that. Um, and then in pure, you know, in the, the pure sunlight days and clear days, they'll obviously charge at a higher rate. And as I said, you can actually set them to lithium. And if that's the case, then do it. But same thing, if you've got gel, you can set it to gel. If it's lead acid, you can set it to lead acid, um, tubular style, uh, all, all different types of styles of um, lithium batteries. And as I said, you can maintain that as well. So anyway, that's a little bit of information about solar controllers. So don't worry yourselves too much about it, but um, you know, all charges will work with each battery, just how they work is slightly different. So until next time, bye for now.